Episode 4, In Sheep's Clothing. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is part 2 of episode 4. Now we'll see what she wants. She's the little mermaid, I think. Pretty sure. I don't think we've ever been in my office before. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last Well, I did get shot a lot. I sure you'd be, you know, around. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> Yay, more cigarettes. That always helps. Everyone's hating on Huff and Puff. Uh, so what brings you here? Man, that clock was fast. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you can help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. Not just while you're at work. My lips are sealed. But I, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, putting it fine, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. Mm. Is this about the Crooked Man? I don't hear because the Crooked Man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of words. You have something you want to say about him, right? Am I trying to intimidate her? If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, when we have to find our way through life on our own, Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Faith? Yeah, is this about Faith, faith and Lily? I'm trying to say something about Faith and Lily. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? I look out for everyone. It's my job to look out for people. Not just my friends. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... Um... Your lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. I really wish that I can find a way to. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. Find a way to break their spell. Ribbons. Faith one one two. Do you like it? Do you? How can I? It's a tool stuck in that life. So that's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? What happens if she takes it off? Does she die? Um... I feel like she'll die, but let's take it off. No, it her what? You can't just stay back. That scared me. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. Not gonna do anything. Maybe it kills her if we take away the ribbon. Ribbons. If you take them off, 
they die. Comfort hurt. It's not going to be snow. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. Sure thing. Tell you, don't worry. Thank you. It's not going to be snow. It's going to be like Georgie. Oh, it is snow. That looks a little suspicious. She's just jealous. Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast caught the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Wait, that was a hint. To go. See what you do, Snow. Um, magic keeps really saying anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... That's how Faith and Lily died. Oh. Okay then, good work. Like that old story of the girl with the ribbon, and when she took it off, her head fall fell off. Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the perfect man? Or do you think they just heard about hmm. this night? She pointed us there. Marissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that night she'd have to go somewhere else. To the D's office or the Tweedles. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, did you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows? Someone's gonna be in the elevator. Oh, okay, never mind. I have other matters to attend to. Is she gonna be working with him? Because I feel like she's gonna be working with the Crooked Man. Beauty and Beast's apartment. Are they arguing again? Open the door or knock? Eh, we'll knock. It's Big B. Oh. What are you? Well, you called me. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runner. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been you. She's been surprising me a lot. And so have you, baby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Do I have to beat him up again? Just get beauty for me. I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? God, I want to punch him again. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can we talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Okay, so I'll snoop around in here. Whoa. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodwinds. <laughs> yeah, it looks like all the apartments look nice except for mine. Really old 80s cell phone. 
vase. Oh, urn. Painting. Talk about living in the past. The rose. Is there something else to look at? Answering machine? Oh, okay. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of back. Did his voice just change? Yeah, say, the place it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Please. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Um, it's nice, that's all. Ah. Uh, I can't make choices fast enough. I'm a crooked man. I didn't know what else to do. So we should do this on our own. I think he's just going to complicate Gosh, things. shut up. And I want to punch him again. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you. I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crew? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. So he does know something. We've, risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the road. I don't know if it's worth it if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you. Only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Well, Beast is. Tell me what's going on. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Being fancy. Give that we never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Like me? Like him? You gonna answer that? Hi there! You've reached Beauty! And Beast! And we're out doing something fabulous! That's really annoying. Just a, a day at the beach? Skiing a slope? <laughs> hey. And we can't I'm come to the phone right now, I should... so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of Is that the crooked man? No, don't pick up the phone. Okay, so it's someone working for the crooked man. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? And that's my telephone ringing. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money. Who's Jersey? Money. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those tweedles were always going the in. The Jersey the Devil? Probably dropping off a loan payment I squeezed out of some poor favor. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's had hard times too. Oh, that's how Bloody Mary got the axe. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketing skills. And Bloody Mary must go through that. She had Woody's axe last night. I had to chop my damn head off with it. I thought it looked familiar. Out. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pond. 
to the lucky pond. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's me in the packages. You gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you doing? What's going on? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on. How did you get involved in this? Johan the Butcher. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit. When I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to paint me. She said I was reliable. She liked it. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. It's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she wants. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands with the packages. Damn dead. But I've seen her. Gets under my skin, you know. And I try to avoid it, but I don't need to tell you what she's. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. Mary works out of there. I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. They just wanted to stay she fancy. to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, baby. That's messed up. Um, I don't need to. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? Uh, another oh, choice. I'd like to know. Another choice, right? Ah. Okay. Um, Lucky Pawn or the Butcher Shop? The Butcher Shop, Bloody Mary's been seen there. Uh, I guess. Uh, I'll go with the Butcher Shop. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. Yeah, let's go with let's go with that. You know, baby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. Maybe nothing left for you to see if you go to the lucky pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Yeah, maybe I should have gone there first. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could Help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. Don't let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Yeah, being heroic. <laughs> 